This late breaking work, entitled Empathy in Design Scale, Development and Initial Insights, is presented by Luz Drouet, Kerstin Bongar Blanchy, Vincent Koenig, and Karine Lallemand from the University of Luxembourg and the Eindhoven University of Technology. Over the last decades, the notion of empathy has gained importance in HCI and design, especially through the development of empathic design methods. However, current studies evaluating empathy tend to rely on time-consuming methods which might not meet industrial needs. Existing work majorly focuses on designers' empathy towards users, rather than involving a broader range of service stakeholders. The development of the empathy in design scale aims at filling a gap by providing a quantitative measure of empathy in design under the form of a standardized, self-reported measure. In industry, the scale intends to be a tool supporting the user-centered maturity of an organization by assessing and developing employees' curiosity and empathy towards users. We reviewed the definition and scope of empathy in the literature to define the relevant dimensions for the evaluation of the construct of empathy in design. The main empathy frameworks in design are focused on how designers empathize with end users. They are usually structured in four phases, moving from a discovery or interest in the users to an immersion phase. This is followed by a connection stage where the designer connects user experiences to their own. The last stage is the one of detachment, where the designers leave the user's world to design with the user's perspective in mind. We created an initial pool of 33 items based on these four dimensions and their definitions and checked their face validity with experts. These steps led to the experimental version of the Empathy in Design scale, including 18 items. We pilot tested this instrument using cognitive interviewing. The paper further describes the issues encountered and the reformulation of items. Our next steps include the administration of the scale on a large sample of employees of service companies. Implications for practice involve a reflection on the use of the scale within organizations where a clear vision on how to use this tool is needed to support stakeholders' growth and a positive impact on the company's UX maturity. Thank you for your attention. To know more, we invite you to read our open access paper or to visit our poster at CHI 2022.